Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech. And in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be taking a look at the notch versus the hole punch display, which I'm gonna be calling the hole display just for the sake of ease. So we have an iPhone XS Max right here, uh, which is a king of the notches. And then we have the Samsung Galaxy A8s over here, uh, which is the first Samsung smartphone to have an actual hole in the display. So this is the phone that is released before the S10 and the S10 Plus with an actual hole in the display. Now when you do get the S10 and the S10 Plus in your hands, that hole is going to be on the other side. Okay, so this phone, the A8s, also known in some parts of the world as the A9 Pro, is it does have the hole on this side, but the uh, S10 and the S10 Plus is going to have it on the other side. So just be aware of that. But in this video, we are doing a comparison on how it feels to use a phone that has a notch versus a hole and which one uh, you might prefer and which, might, which one I might prefer based on the, 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 the points I'm gonna make in this video. And of course, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna navigate the phones, go into apps. We're also gonna play some games and play some videos and see how these two phones look side by side as you do those activities. Uh, one with the notch, one with the hole, all right? So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the menu and just browse around. So the notch is over here on the top. It bites into the display from the top side. The hole is kind of on the side over there, so it's not biting into the display, but still there. So let's just go to the settings, see how everything looks over here. So if I go to the settings here, uh, the notch is still there. Let's go back to the main settings. Let's bring the settings for this one as well. And the hole is right there. And even as I look at them side by side right now, the one that stands out less is in fact the hole. And also, I just want you guys to know that hole uh, is going to be smaller on the S10 and the S10 Plus, most likely. And one more thing I'm going to get out of the way, this uh, screen here is not an OLED display. This is not, the, this is not that top-of-the-line OLED displays that you get on the Note 9s, the S8s, and the S9s. Uh, but this is the uh, top of the line display you get on the iPhone. So try not to make a comparison between the uh, display quality of the smartphones. This is a $1,000 plus phone. This is only $500. So this is in fact a mid-range phone, but it just happens to have a hole. But it does give us a very good approximation or of how it's going to feel like to use the S10 and the S10 Plus. So let's do a little bit more navigation. Let's just go to the notifications over here. Uh, let's go to notifications over here. Okay, so the uh, hole doesn't uh, seem to be on top of any text, which is great. Uh, now let's go back out here. Let me just launch the phone application. Again, the hole is on the top and things are kind of downward, shifted downwards, so it doesn't get in the way. And if I was to launch this one over here, uh, again, the notch is designed in such a way that it doesn't interfere with any text, okay? But again, in my opinion, I am liking the fact that this is less intrusive on the screen, on the display, than this guy, which is going to be more apparent when you watch movies and play games. Okay, so let's go out here. Let me go to the messages. Again, that's what we have. Over here, we got the messages right over here. Okay, and if I go to the music application, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is more familiar to us, but this is something new. Uh, so that's that. Uh, let me launch YouTube in this portray orientation then I'll move to landscape orientation a little bit so let's uh, go to YouTube over here I have it right here and then we got the YouTube application running here somewhere there we go okay so let's say you were playing a video uh, which most of us do in the portray orientation unless we're really doing a deep dive into that video so if I were to play this uh, let me kill the volume and let's just click play on this first video right over here okay so we're gonna skip the ads in a second uh, just so we can get to the point right away. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Oh, couldn't skip that one. There we go. Okay. Let's just fast forward. So that's what we have. So when you're watching a movie in this orientation, neither the notch nor the hole get in the way. Okay. Uh, which is normal behavior. It's just the way it's designed. Uh, you cannot pinch to fill the screen this way. Uh, they look exactly the same with black bars on the top cutting out uh, the notch and the hole. Okay, so that's that. All right, so let's just go to google.com real quick. I'm going to go to Google here and I'm going to go to Google here. And again, uh, the notch is much more intrusive than the hole. Even though the hole is not ideal, it's much better than the notch in my opinion. And of course, this video is to, uh, for you guys to let me know down in the comments, which one do you prefer? Again, there are some people that like the notch, some people that are going to prefer the hole. 
and some people that simply don't care. So do drop a comment down below and let me know which category you guys be uh, belong in, okay? We're not bashing notches or the hold in this video. We're just gathering some data, but I'm letting you know what my preference is in this scenario, okay? So, so far, I'm liking the hole much better than the notch, maybe because the hole is something new and the notch is now old news. So let me launch one final app on both of these uh, smartphones, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to landscape mode and uh, watch a video, okay? So that's App Store, that's the Play Store. Again, you can let me know which one looks more normal to you uh, as far as visibility of the screen is concerned, all right? Uh, okay, so let's do the landscape orientation. We're going to play the same video we were playing just a couple of minutes ago uh, right here. So we are going to change the orientation of these smartphones and continue playing the videos and see how they look in full screen. So previously, when I went to the YouTube application, just an ex as, as an example, uh, when I launch YouTube and when I play a video full screen, let me just kill the volume to make sure it doesn't interfere, okay? So let's uh, play that video. This is the full screen view that you are going to see when you play a video on the smartphone. Now, when you uh, zoom to fill the screen by doing that gesture, that's what was happening. The hole was still there, but we were adding a black bar over here uh, to hide this area, by which I wasn't so pleased. But I ca I've come to realize now there's an actually actual setting in the settings that allows you to make sure that the thing goes, goes uh, fills the entire screen and the hole is in fact visible. So let me do that right now. Let me just uh, go back here in the video a little bit. So right now, as you can see, we do have a black bar that I'm not a fan of. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings. Let's just go home here, X this out. Go to the settings, go into display, and then you can go to full screen apps. And from here, you can actually hide the camera in the portrait orientation if you so desire. We're not going to do that right now. I'm going to show you the YouTube application real quick. So if I scroll down to YouTube, I can actually uh, set, uh, it should be right here, it to go to full screen. So now when I go back into uh, YouTube, let's go back into it, uh, that exact same video, tap on play, you're going to see that this time when I go full screen, the whole displays on the side right here. And again, uh, compared to the notch, this is so much better. It is so much less in, in, intrusive. And again, this is a Samsung Galaxy A8s. So it's not even uh, the Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus, which is going to have a more refined circle here. It's going to be a little bit smaller, except for the S10 Plus, which is going to be pill-shaped. Uh, but it does not look as bad as the notch. With the notch, uh, the whole thing cuts into the display uh, from the side over here. This seems to be on the side at the bottom. Uh, uh, takes away less of the immersion of the full screen video. Now, in my opinion, this is much more preferable uh, to the uh, notch display, which I want you guys to let me uh, know down below what you think about that as well. And just for the sake of comparison, let me grab the iPhone, put it right next to it. Uh, put it on the screen here and show you how that looks as well. All right, so here's the iPhone and that is the notch display. So you guys let me know what you think, uh, which one is in fact better looking. Uh, I think in my opinion, the circle is much better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you parts of the other video where I actually compared the iPhone and this punch hole display on the Samsung A8 side by side in a gaming setup. So let me play that as well, just in case so you can, you, you can see how it looks when you're playing an actual game on both of these smartphones side by side, notch versus the hole. All right, so here we have the same game. Both games are filling the entire screen, which is fantastic. But again, now we're getting a much better look at how these uh, phones are gonna look with a hole in the display. Uh, here's the notch biting into the display from the side. Here's the hole biting into the display uh, on the side, okay? Much smaller area that interferes with the total immersion of the smartphone. So let's just click play. And of course, the iPhone is gonna be faster. This is the iPhone XS Max. Uh, so this is a mid-range phone. This is a high-end phone. So don't think this is a speed test. Let's just click play here and here. Uh, see what happens. All right, so far we're seeing the hole here uh, and the notch over here. All right, so that's the introductory 
uh, movie on both of the smartphones. We, we, I, let's see if I can skip this. Can't skip it. All right, so the game has started to play on the iPhone on the top. Again, you can see them side by side. Uh, same thing over here, side by side. Uh, let's just tap that, tap that. Touch, drive, control. Okay, so tap on drift. That's great. You can see both of these uh, games playing side by side, which is what I wanted to show you guys. All right. Let's tap the nitros. There we go. Okay. Just take a look at them side by side. Let's tap on that. All right. Absolutely fantastic. More nitros right here. So you let me know which one you think is looking better right now uh, in this interface. Let's tap this, tap this, oops, swipe, swipe, all right. So there we go, exact, exactly the same screen, all right, absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, I'm preferring this one. Of course, the quality of the screen is better here and the graphics are better here because that is the iPhone XS Max. But the intrusion-wise, uh, the notch is worse than the hole at the bottom. And again, on the S10 and the S10 Plus, let me just swipe over, uh, the holes are going to be on this side over here. So that's going to be a minor difference. All right, so you saw the games, you saw the videos, you saw the overall navigation. Why don't you guys drop down uh, comments below and let me know which one you actually prefer or perhaps you don't have a preference. Some people simply don't care. Uh, in, my, in my case, I'm a tech guy. I do care and I'm preferring the actual hole. All right. So you might like the notch, you may not care. Just let me know down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech. Give this video a thumbs up. And for now, have a fantastic day. If you do have any questions, drop them down below.